Yeah. <laughs> Nothing new under the sun. Yeah. We have some info box now from Scripture Arts. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I think some people are having problems with your sound. Three, four people are saying that you're muted. Five people. I think there's something with your sound. It's. I'm trying. I'm trying to. My sound this. is supposed to be there. It's just you. How about now? Yes. How about now? I think you guys can hear me now. Sorry about that. I don't know what had happened here. So hello again. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was just... for somebody to confirm that they can hear you. Yeah, I think I think it works now because ah. I can see it here working. Yeah, but... it works in Twitch at least. Yeah. Thank you. Great. So yeah, I was just saying that uh, the title is wrong on Twitch. You probably didn't hear that. Uh, as usual, I can't fix that problem. Sorry if anybody can can help us. Um, we are going to look at Leonid Shamkovich today, and I I was saying that he was a grandmaster born in the Soviet Union, and. Uh, we had some information here from Harish on YouTube. Yeah, he was a chess grandmaster and writer and he was born in Russia. And I was just saying that later on he moved to Israel and he moved uh, to Canada and then he ended up in the US. So we were just joking before we started that he's a little, he was a little bit like Sophie traveling around the world. <laughs> yeah, he's just a bit stronger. <laughs> And very a tactical player, is that what we know also, right? Right, yes, he was a, a tactical player. He uh, he played a lot for the initiative. Uh, he has many nice games. And I think you're going to like the games that I, I prepare for you today. They are not so... Uh, the attacks are not so, you know, tal-like and ag aggressive and sacrifices, but they're more like... Uh, you'll see, I don't want to spoil anything. But first I want to start with a tactic. You know how this works. We warm up and yes. then we move on to <laughs> to the actual uh, games. So here it's white to play. This is his win against uh, Larson, if I'm not mistaken. Mm, yes. Larson is here with black. Hope you can see everything, Sophie. I didn't yes, ask about that. Yes, I can see this. Uh, I'm noticing some unprotected pieces. Yeah, many. Uh, <laughs> Like all of Black's pieces, basically. <laughs> no, they're not that. Uh, hmm. So, how can we take advantage of that? It would be nice to play just like push the pawn for me 5 3 6. That's not possible, of course, but that would be attacking both the bishop and the. That uh, would, I agree. Um. But I can't really seem to find a way to open up that diagonal. Okay, let's just see what do we have. We don't have any checks with the queen, at least. That makes any sense. Yeah. So maybe we could sacrifice. Maybe we could go. Well, let's take a look at knight f6 first, because he has to take that. Otherwise, we take the bishop. And then uh, once we take back, we do threaten the rook. Yeah. So he has to do something about that. Uh, and then the queen, okay, so he moves the rook anywhere, let's just say f8, it could also be somewhere else. Then we go queen uh, g4. Yeah. Or queen g3, probably the same. And then once the king moves, queen g7 will be checkmate, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. I, I think this, I don't know if anybody knew this. I remember that I've seen it before. I don't exactly recall where, but I'm pretty sure I have seen this tactic before, knight f6. 
And if pawn takes f6, e takes, this is what Sophie was uh, showing before rook f, I don't know, maybe let's say rook c8. Yeah. Just not to take some squares away from the king, but this is still mate, queen someplace, and then queen g7. And queen e7. And that's game over. Yep. So after knight f6, he played king h8, but now he loses this bishop. So here we, mm. we are still winning. He try rook b1 and just make some space for the king first. I think there were some other ways to win, like queen f8 probably works. At queen f8 now. Here and queen to f7, the idea is to play knight f6. And yeah. this is going to be mate. So he goes here, another check, and now knight f8. Game over. Queen yeah. f7. <laughs> There's nothing more. Okay, one more. Let's see. Here it's black to play. Ah, don't ruin my... Yeah, okay. So we are looking from black's perspective here. How to continue? Okay, I'm just going to flip the board. So this is a game oh, against the... Krogius. Yeah. The material counts looks uh, e even. Yeah. Yeah. Something about the bishop and g7 and uh, the queen and a1. Something there, yeah. Queen is not so... she doesn't have too many squares. Could we trap her? No. no. Aruka, how do you pronounce your name? Okay, I'm going to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> it was very, very, very funny last time. As Sophie asked me to, to <laughs> her reaction was uh, was priceless. So my name is Raluca Sgurcha. To which I can still remember Sophie replying, can you say that again, but slower? <laughs> it was very funny. I'm having a little bit of uh, trouble with this one. Mm, okay, let's just see. Are there any checks? No. No checks. No, this uh, time no so checks. We could take, look at captures. We could take this knight. Yeah. Then he would uh, take back with either... Okay, so there's some idea actually about if he takes with the rook, then no, it's not quite working. I'm looking at something like rook a8 and knight c3, but I can't really see if it's um, if it's working. I could also maybe take here. Yeah, that's the other capture. I think that's that's everything. <laughs> and if he takes back, I could bring in the queen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could push this pawn to threaten the queen. I'm, I can like see some ideas, but I just can't. I'm going to see if there are any suggestions in the chat. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Nothing on YouTube yet. What about Twitch? Yeah, we have some suggestions. Oh, eccentric from... force is going. Yes. Queen h4. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Oh, okay. yeah. So going with the queen first, that could make sense. Um, queen h4. <laughs> okay, what if what, we do that? What if we do that? Queen h4. Okay, so now we threaten an f2. Uh, if he plays g3, I guess we can just take an h3. Mm. And if he tries to... And maybe he, he takes on e4 on queen h4? Ah, uh, he would take like this? Maybe that, just to remove the knight? Yeah, that might be a problem because it really would shut down our... We probably have to take back with the queen, but still then the bishop on g7 is not so happy. Yeah. So maybe we have to take on... Yeah, there on is F2. a j beast. <laughs> Suggesting knight, knight f2, yeah, knight f2 and then queen h4, that sounds, that looks, um, that looks an, like an idea, no? 
Yeah, because I can't really get my idea to work. If I play, if I take an F2 and then play E4, you can probably just play Bishop B2. Yeah, Bishop B2 should be an option there. Yeah. Okay. So taking an F2 and then going Queen H4. Check. Oh, and then just taking here next move. Is that working? Because then the knight is hanging. Hanging, and the bishop's hanging. And the bishop's hanging. And if he takes here and threatens my queen, then I just take here and I'm, I've won two. And isn't there one. a rook hanging on b8? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, OK, so just one more time, we take an f2. He takes, we let's, give a check. Let's see he it on the board because it's not so, yeah, it's so obvious. Knight of two is the move. So uh, queen h4. Okay, so he has some options here. If he goes king f1, then queen c4 is obvious, no? Yeah. And then you do take on c2 and everything, everything works. Yeah, and you can't take on d6 now. And yeah, that's just very good. So let's say he goes to g1. What now? Faluka, why did you choose this player? Well, because here well, we are looking at uh, attacking games and Shamkovic is one of the players who who played, who played, fought a lot for the initiative. So I thought he would fit very well in our, uh, in our series. He did mm. win some, some tournaments and he was a very strong grandmaster, I think. He's just not as famous as others, but he's got some some very, very good games. You're going to see. You, you'll see what, what I mean in a second. So what do we do now? After yeah, the problem G1. is if we take and C4 now and he takes and D6, then our queen is hanging. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I was reading now the Twitch uh, comments and eccentric horse was saying that he was trying to follow what, what you were saying, but he got confused about all the arrows. <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to be like Nagamura here. <laughs> just a little bit more slow. Um, okay, so I don't like taking in C4 as much because then if he takes in D6, my queen is hanging and I can't really... And, and yeah, if I take the bishop on B2, then the rook on B8 is hanging. Yeah. So maybe I shouldn't then. Uh, I mean, I could I could give a check here. Yeah. But when he moves his king, then I'm not sure what the follow up would be. Okay, threats. What uh, threats do you have after that? I could push this pawn. Yeah. To. Ah, and then <laughs> let me let me just so then it would be uh, so if I push e4 in that position where my queen is in e1, I'm threatening the queen. Yeah, and the move bishop b2 wouldn't work because then my queen could take his queen, and when it takes back with the bishop, bishop takes bishop, and I'm winning a piece, or I'm winning yeah. the piece that I sacrificed back with the. Uh, with, with the some pawn. pawns, no? One yeah, pawn but, only, but... Yeah, but still pretty good. And so, you have the bishop pair. <laughs> yeah. So after e4, he would have to move the queen. But she can only really go here. Let me show this e4. Yeah. Queen b1. Mm, let's say queen b1. Let me just... Oops. Play it on the board, queen b1. Ah, then bishop e5 yeah that's the point a lot of troubles <laughs> that here you want to include include the bishop and once you play bishop e5 is going to be made and the difference is and now you see it if one bishop b2 now this is what sophia was pointing out that here you you win the piece back bishop takes a1 because if you played e4 right away then bishop b2 does work and you don't have queen e1 anymore no and on bishop b2, I can take back with the rook. Um, well, I could take with, even with the queen. I don't think there's much difference, but I just want to have the 
the first rank defended. So queen e1, still knight takes d6 at the end. Okay, in this line. Queen e1, king h2, e4. I think this is where you mean. There is still knight d6 in the end. No, there is no knight d6 in the end because there will be a knight e5 check. So here I trade rooks first. And then I play bishop e5 and I win the knight. Yeah. It's a good detail. Good detail, yeah. Good point here. So no knight d6. I'm not uh, losing the, the pawn. And if we go back here after queen h4, this didn't happen in the game. Uh, why didn't take on f2, but we have to look at it. Here if g3, the point is that we take on h3. And again, this is going to be a strong attack. We want to play... Okay, queen h2 is the big threat now. Yeah. And take on c2. So let's say king g1. And here... We have this move e4, bishop b2, and here we have another strong idea. So I'm going to let you think for a few for a few minutes. What do we play here with black? Raluca, where are you from? I'm from Romania. And Sophie, there was a question about your rating. Before. My uh, feeder rating is not very high. It's uh, barely 1800, but um, my online rating is higher. <laughs> so I think, I mean, I want to play some tournaments so I can get it up. And yes, my um, my last name is German, uh, but I am from Denmark. So, But it's good spotted. Um, I can't figure this one out. So I had an it's idea not, about it's going so something easy. like e3. I would really like to do something about the rook on b3 because it's defending this uh, g3 pawn. Yeah. Um, so that could either be going like, but e3, I guess you could just take and get the open file. Um, yeah, but don't stop there. You, okay. are, <laughs> you are on the right path. I think <laughs> I e3 it. was not so Yeah. Okay, so e3 so and let to six is the only thing that looks critical. Um, then my bishop is hanging on g7. I don't have any. Yeah, that's always hanging <laughs> on g7. It's always hanging. And can I? Okay, what do we play after? Sophie yeah, found the know. first move. Help her out. She found e3. But what if rook takes e3? <laughs> Am I the third Botte's sister? No, I'm not. <laughs> there was a question on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, e3, then f4. Yes. Is what GJ Beast and Soundly21 are suggesting. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. E3 rook takes f4. Okay. Because now the rook's hanging. Now you can... <laughs> okay, but what if... Um, no, that's probably not... I'm, I'm thinking if white can just take on g7, but it's not. we're not going to get checkmated on, on the dark squares. I don't think there's time, we because we can look at that. Bishop g7, let's put it on the board. Here we take on e3, and g3 is still hanging, right? And I'm going to mate first, after queen takes... First of all, what does he play here to threaten mate? Not clear, no? It's, the bishop still has to find a, a good square on this diagonal. Take here. Ooh, what to do next? No bishop h6, no bishop f8, I think this no, is... No, the uh, queen is defending quite nicely. Yeah. <laughs> and if he goes back, the point is that you take on g3 and then queen h2 is, is coming. Yeah. But I think this idea of e3 just to force the rook onto unprotected square and then f4 is very strong here. And it's not so obvious. No, because you gotta be prepared to lose that bishop, but uh, it's yeah. working. <laughs> it's working, yeah. Okay, so let me show you how the game went, because after knight takes f2, y took on d6 instead. Now I have to tell you that knight takes f2 is not winning, but you'll see this a lot in his games, that he... Uh, plays these lines that are not so easy at all to 
um, to meet and he creates complicated positions like here for example the way to defend is queen c3 and the point of this move is that okay you foresee queen, queen h4 you see that you'll have problems on the king side you have no pieces on the king side so queen c3 wants to meet queen h4 with queen g3 and this is the only defense ah so, so you want to up we're gonna go queen g3 okay so you've lost a pawn but here the knight is hanging no so and, the, and he has to come back to e4 yeah and rook takes g6 here there's another pawn hanging <laughs> and now there's a rook b1 threat in this position mm. so white can't take on d6 he has to play rook king f2 we have time to defend but i don't think this uh this end game can be won by black just upon on e4 will it be it. <laughs> <laughs> okay yes maybe <laughs> I'm not very good at end games, so uh, but because you do have a passed pawn, no, that's <laughs> that's yeah. The idea. yeah, but the bishop is not so happy. No, and I'm thinking bishop h6 should just be uh, an immediate draw here for white, no? Bishop h6 because I have to play king h7, and then I trade bishops with white, and that should be an easy draw, <laughs> probably rook c7 there, like this I meant. Okay, come on. No more arrows. Here, king h7. <laughs> and here something like rook c7. I was thinking just to stop the pawn and threaten maybe rook c6. And apparently I'm losing the game, so it can be loose. Are you <laughs> uh, black losing now? No, white. After rook b2, I think... Uh, yeah, after rook b2, it's how do I defend both e3 and g3, no? And on king g3, I have rook d2. Yeah. So it can still be still, still be winning. <laughs> okay, Sophie. So here here comes the question that you were afraid of from the very oh, beginning. Sorry. It's, <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, it's not it's not alcohol, it's alcohol free beer. I just like the taste of it. It's there's no alcohol in this. I don't want to drink alcohol <laughs> when I'm working with Aluka. Um <laughs> Uh, so no, sometimes no, not. people are not on this stream, we're not drinking alcohol. And definitely not while live, that's not uh, professional. No, it's just <laughs> completely 0, 0. nothing in it. <laughs> you have to bring the, the bottle I have to as bring a the proof. Bottle. Yeah, <laughs> I, <laughs> I have the bottle if you want to see it, but yeah. Okay, so no, not all rook end games are drawn. Apparently, that was uh, <laughs> that was not a draw. The rook has to come back to g3 uh, in that case, or yeah, maybe rook d7 in that position. But I just want to show you the game because I have more interesting games to show you. Here, the idea was rook b3, bishop takes, and here the move order is important. Knight d3 was the most precise move order. Um, he played queen b8 and here again there is a defense because now white can take on f2 queen b3 complicated position but here it looks like uh white can defend maybe queen b2 here still complicated uh yeah black has the two bishops so anything can happen but in the game he played knight to b5 here and after knight b5, we transpose knight d3 and e4. The bishop yep. comes in, queen a5, and the queen gets in as well. Now there's a check, but nothing more. Queen f2. Now he has to go king h1, otherwise bishop e5 will happen. And here takes on b5 because I will need the square d4 for my bishop at some point. Check. Check. And this is going to be made. Queen e2 and then bishop d4. Could you have taken the bishop on, on, on b7 after going giving the queen check? Sorry. Uh, when queen f1? Um, no, okay. a little before that. Bef uh, sorry, it was not on d7. Queen oh, here. here. Queen d7? I think he's getting mated. If queen d7, I have. 
Okay, because you're pinning my bishop, that's what you mean. Yeah, that's the point. But Queen maybe, F2. maybe we can just, maybe I can just take bishop yeah. e2 and then, yeah. I think so. King and then H2. the knight can get in on f4. Yes, yeah. Queen d2 should be... Should be enough and knight f4, yeah. Similar to the previous game, no? Knight f4 or knight e1. Same thing happened before on the square g2. <laughs> mm. In the other game against Larsen. Yeah, so here, good point. Queen d7, queen f2 has to be played. Take on d2 and then play for the square g2. Knight e1, yeah. Knight e1 is winning. Okay, so let's let's move on. Let's move on because now I think we are getting uh, tactics to the good stuff. Good okay, stuff. here we play with stuff. white. I'm going to flip the board. I'm going to flip it as well, like this. Okay. How do we continue here with white? This is a brilliant game. I'm sure you're going to like it. It's one of my favorite <laughs> from uh, from today's session. And th there is another one that I like very much and we're going to see in a moment. <laughs> okay, now okay. it's uh, there is a big debate about drinking alcohol to play better, but we don't recommend that. <laughs> no. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, so and I see Ice, Ice Wallow Cone is saying, how do I quickly reach your level? I'm about 1400 online chess. I would say uh, trains and tactics, uh, plays and games. And is, is the sound some off? Or can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Uh, and I, I can personally, I can really recommend getting a coach like on coaches, there are a lot of good coaches. But Luca, I can really <laughs> personally recommend. Uh, that has helped me a lot. And like, I think my online rating is actually uh, improved by more than 200 points since we started on this. So like 250 points or something. So I can really recommend that. Um, doing that once a week or whenever you have the time, it's just a good thing to get somebody else in because you you're getting like held accountable for your training. That's very nice. And I think you also get some guidance. I've, I've always, yeah, I've exactly. also had coaches throughout my uh, chess career. And yes, uh, you get a lot of information that you would otherwise spend a lot of time. Maybe you would get it, but you'd have to read many books and make sure that you yeah. read the right and books and, and get the, the right I material. Because you can't learn, you can't possibly learn any everything in chess. There's so much, like so many openings. So, for example, it's very nice that Raluca, you taught me how to play the Benoni and the Nimso Indian. And I, when I play online, I haven't played. You know, I have only played one tournament, and I didn't get to play anything there. But uh, when I play online, I can see I have a really good score with those openings because, and also you picked those because you thought they would suit my playing style. Yeah. Yeah. Sophie is more tactical, so yeah. I think that Benoni is is, uh, is very good for her. <laughs> okay, so speaking of tactical... Speaking about uh, this position. This position. Okay, Theodor I'm... has... A, sorry, Theodor had a suggestion on YouTube. Go ahead, Sophie. Yeah, I haven't really... I'm just going to look briefly at it because I'm not a huge fan of my bishops right now, but I don't really know if I... If, Something with the F file is all I can really see right now. Um, also, my queen is very much offside. Yeah. So, I mean, if I didn't know that this was, I don't even know if it's, is it a tech? I, I, I wouldn't, I would think if I had a position, okay, I'm going to improve my queen and I'm going to do something about these bishops, probably. But if it's, if there's a tactic, then I have to. Spread but the thing up. is that what can you do with your queen? Because right now the queen has a job, <laughs> a very yeah. unfortunate job for a queen. Yes, but, yes, but it is a job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just see. Um... The thing is that here with white, you might even be worse if you don't play this right. No, it's just. Yeah, um... I can. I almost feel like I'm already worse. But you do have an idea. <laughs> Uh, did somebody write anything? Yes, Theodore was suggesting knight f5 here to improve the knight. 
Nice idea. And I feel a night f5. Okay. I don't see anything more. Just the idea that the queen is far from action. Yep. Ah, uh, because I'm just gonna understand knight f5. Knight f5. Okay. So if he takes, then I guess we're taking back and threatening the queen, and the queen has to go here. Yeah. And then maybe we bring this bishop in on h4. Yeah, that is pinning, the point. Pinning and winning this knight. So let's show that line. Knight f5, if he takes, rook takes, queen e7, and here bishop h4, white should already be winning because we take we take that knight on f6. I don't think there is there is much. No, um, what if he goes up with the king? It looks... King g7, king g7 here. Okay, we can take on f6 anyway, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the and thing, with defending with the queen and the, the king, they're not so good at defending. No, <laughs> black doesn't have enough material here. No, and the mm -hmm. queen, and now fortunately the queen will just join, no? It's bishop here and queen f2, I think that's, yeah, that's enough. So this would be winning if he takes this line, in this line white's winning, but mm. black doesn't have to take. And this is the beauty of this game, knight f5, black goes bishop c8. And now he is threatening to take the knight because there will be no more rook f5. And what do we do next? <laughs> Something beautiful. <laughs> um, okay. We could uh, give a check here. Yeah. Then he move. Uh, he moves his king, and I'm not sure if that's really. Uh, there's some. Ah, uh, no. I can't find anything that's. Okay, let's just see what else. Mm. Who was playing black in this game? Uh, White is Shamkovic and black Roisman. Bishop g3 is another idea and knight e4, knight d4 probably is another suggestion here. <laughs> knight e4 is the move, yes. Knight, knight d4 is the move? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, it's a it's a constant offering of the knight. <laughs> yeah, it's a very brave knight we have here. Persuasive, no? It's like the point is always the same that the queen only has the e7 square, to which you will reply bishop h4 yeah. always. So even though it looks like our queen is misplaced, so is black's. Yes, the queen on yeah. e5 is also misplaced. And if bishop f5, we have g4. And what do we do on h6, for example? Mm. Could we... I'm just finding the right order of move, move order. Yeah. Uh, the knight first and then the bishop? Yeah, that's the right move order. Otherwise... That's There's why I stopped here. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fork here with g5. And here we would be losing. Mm. <laughs> Going from from the ball to the hospital. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> just, just thinking about it. Yeah, one move after the other. Yeah, so this knight dance is very impressive here. Also because he includes the pieces that were not doing anything. Oh, the knight was also... Okay, g3 was not that bad but it's not that good either and the bishop on e1 was not doing anything and now bishop h4 mm. is always an idea um black can defend here he could have gone knight h5 just to stop bishop g3 which was suggested before um in the position but here we get to this end game which is quite interesting also knight b5 a6 and here knight a7 this is a very nice idea yeah and the point is that knight c6 sacrifices a pawn but um 
black structure is pretty bad. Queen b3. He will be passive. Black can still defend with queen g5. Threatening on e3. Yep. I'm just showing this for fun because I, th I I wondered what would happen after knight h5 when I saw the game. I think this, this idea is uh, worth showing. Queen d1 now. And black still has problems. It should be about equal, but this king is not safe and these pawns are are still weak. This pawn is weak. Mm. It looks like white has many targets here. We have a position with opposite color bishops and king safety is number one. Yeah, so we just and don't want to exchange the queens and then try to... No, here we wouldn't exchange queens. We would play for uh, pressure against the black king. And against the pawns. But in the game, rook f7 happened, and now bishop g3. Queen e7, queen has to go away, knight b5. And the problem right now is that, okay, if black plays something like a6, what do we do? Is we, we take on... I'm yeah. trying to make it work to take an F. Can we just take an F6 a couple of times and then take on D6? Yeah. Yeah. And this is the point. I'll take on D6 first. Yeah, okay. And then take a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the point. So here, uh, there's no way, really no way to stop that. He played Bishop A6, to which we can still take on D6. Mm. This works. But he played Bishop H4. Which is also very strong because now the knight on f6 and here the bishop gets in. He improved both of the bishops. That's everything. Nice. Everything came to life. <laughs> Queen here and bishop e6. Game over. Rook on f7 is falling as well. Yeah. Very nice game from where we started to where we, we ended up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm very impressed by this because I didn't like uh, our position when I first saw it. Yeah, but this is a position where, no, because you don't like it. That's right. You don't like it because the, the pawn structure is bad here. You have to keep your pieces passive and you have to be looking for active solutions because in the long, in the long run here, you will be worse with white. Yeah. And um, knight f5 was only possible because black's last move was queen e5 here. <laughs> Ah, so that was, uh, so black was maybe better before that? Yeah. Yeah. He was slightly better. If he doesn't play queen e5, he is still better. Okay. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, this one against Paganian. Yeah, this is also <laughs> kind of brilliant. Well, white side? White side, yes. Uh, this is Shamkovic versus Vaganian. This game should have been a draw but the thing is that here uh, white only has one move to make the draw it's queen f3 and black he probably felt he was better and he was trying to win this other moves like rook takes d5 our rook on e5 is hanging by the way here yeah so here we go into an end game but an end game that is worse for for white pawns are all bad there's a passed pawn on d4. Yeah. There is not... And the knight is defending g7. Everything, yeah. yeah. d6 is a very yeah. nice square for the knight. An eternal knight on f6. <laughs> so queen f3, because he wants to take on f7, and mm -hmm. this could be a perpetual. For example, queen e5, this is just a simple draw. Uh, black can't even get out of this. Queen f7 and queen e8. But as I was saying, black is trying to win this because it's, there's a rook on e5, so let's try not to make the draw. No, it, it makes a lot of sense. Mm. Queen f7, king h8, check. And here is how he's trying not to make the draw. Queen g6 and king f8. Not decide to play for the win because it seems that white doesn't have any more checks. There is one more on f6 that he gave. King e8. And this is the critical position where we are going to stop. How do we play this with white? 
what do we do? Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at just uh, what uh, Simon Williams would say, Harry the H pawn. <laughs> but we have to be careful about that, right? Because it's not a check. So if we just decide to go, oh, that would be a nice yeah, move. If we just uh, decide to go there. <laughs> Had to go to eight seven first. Uh, then I'm a little bit afraid if this is going to lead anywhere for, mm -hmm. because I only have one move here. And then knight f four looks like it might be a problem because my queen is hanging. So then I would have to take with the queen, with the queen, and then once he takes back, ah, uh, then maybe I. Because you're, what you're saying is that black can't uh, stop the pawn. Yeah, that's what I'm counting on right now. <laughs> but I'm thinking knight of four is one check, but maybe queen d5 is another check to to look at after rook e1. Uh, queen, what do you say? Uh, queen here, queen d5? Queen d5. Or in the line that you were showing, knight of four, queen yeah. of four, maybe queen g6. And just grab the pawn on h7. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's a full book. Uh, it would be an exchange in that line. But... But yeah, but that's still not so good if we don't have this pawn. I'm going <sighs> to show the line that you were looking at here yeah. just to I'm going to look at the comments not more. confuse everybody. So h7. Hey, let me move here. h7, rook e1, king to g2, and here knight f4. And this is the position where we are getting the pawn on h7. I was thinking maybe queen g3, but queen h7. And it's not easy for black to win, but it's only black who's trying to win this, no? Yeah. I don't think... No, I don't think we could play for... No, there's a check on b8, and here king f7, don't lose the queen. <laughs> and that should be... Okay, we do take some pawns, no? Take on c5, but still. Still. Yeah, no, I don't like it's this. It's not... It, there's something better in this position. Yeah. I like... Um... Oh, no, Charlie, you took the message back. I thought it was a nice suggestion, though. <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't see his so suggestion. Keep, what was uh, that? Light... Slyla Taub says 8-7 all day. That's my <laughs> idea, but I'm not sure if it's working. Then terribly bad. Yeah. Saying this should D2. That's a nice idea to just stop uh, Rook E1. And also Zampa 86 is also just suggesting Bishop D2 to prevent the yeah. check. Makes a lot of sense yeah. if you see that Rook E1 is a problem. And yeah. this is the the move. <laughs> Such a quiet, such a quiet move. little move. Yes, it's yeah. amazing because black doesn't even have one check. With bishop d2, we've solved everything, and we're going to play h7. To anything, yeah. queen c7 happened in the game, and h7, because the rook on e5 is hanging. And now we're winning. <laughs> There's a check here on bishop g5. He played. And now he starts the hunt. <laughs> Just king h2. <laughs> the king hunt, yes. King h2 to get out of the pin and be able to use the bishop. Black can take on g5. Knight g5 is possible, but h takes. I'm going to show this. There aren't many checks. He has one on h5, but that's pretty much it. King g3. And is this, uh, this is just winning for white? It should be winning. We have to be careful not to get a perpetual check, but it should be winning, yes. Because we we try to advance the pawn and we also take on c5 next. Yeah. And if king b6, if king b6, one idea is to just give a check and advance the, the g pawn and the other one is to push b4 because maybe this one is a problem in the future. Yeah, I like the uh, B4 and going for uh, for G6 also. Just push, seeing how far we can get that pawn up the board. But it should be winning. No, it's just yeah. we have to be careful. But it should be winning. 
I'm going to show you the game because he went king b6. Check. I'll give another check here. And finally goes for bishop e7. Again, looking at c5, trying to create a mating net here. Queen d6. And here black goes strong. He goes king b7, which looks safe, but it's not. <laughs> king a5 was the right way to, to play. And king b7 is wrong because now we have this check. And now king b6 does not work anymore because of bishop d8. And the queen's on g4, so the knight is pinned. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's right. I didn't see. There's okay, no... that's right. Yeah. Yeah, this arrow is wrong. It goes like this. <laughs> yeah. So he can't take anymore, and this is just mate. Well, he has to take, but... Yeah. We're taking on g4. So king a6, it's still not terribly easy because king a5 now and what do we do here um yeah now we have to be careful about checks but a4 would look uh, would set up you know a, a mating threat but uh, if we go a4 i'm a little bit afraid if he will just be able to check us or maybe not. Or maybe queen e2 to defend. Just defend the, the mate. Uh, on b5. Here? Yeah. Uh, Again, yeah, and that's still defending the, uh, the knight. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. We could, of course, go here with the queen. Hmm. Then if it goes back. We let him escape. Now if we do that. Doesn't look mm. like it. Pawn check is a suggestion. Yeah, but pawn check we only have before and before he takes us. No, I don't think does that work? I don't think so. Mm. Could we take this pawn? No, then he takes you with check. That doesn't look so good. Unless we can escape from that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> trying to see if we can... Who's going to help Sophie out? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need some help. I'm gonna look in the chat. What do we uh, do here? So it's bishop not easy. But... How about yeah? What about before? How to see? Yeah, how do you see these in 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 time trouble? I think that has to be trained beforehand. If you haven't trained for spotting tactics, it will be more difficult. Yeah. Uh, A3, there goes Charlie. <laughs> like, is this the coach who taught the Benoni? Yes, it is. Raluca <laughs> taught the Benoni. Yes. Um, take the pawn and push the white. A3, A3, okay. A3, yes. Italian Irish on A3. Let's see what's what's in that A3. I was actually looking at A3. I just threw it away like this. Um, a3. Ah, and and now you won before. Yeah. Yeah. Checkmate now. There is checkmate now. There are many checks. There's one on f4 only. Yeah. And king h1. Just have to make sure you escape the checks. King c1, king g2. Queen c1, king g2. There's no more checks with, uh, with the queen. There's a check here on f4 and king h2. And that's and that. And what if he takes an a3 now? Now? In this moment, queen a3 is what he played, yes. Okay, so now we can win the knight if we want to. Yeah, we do have queen c7, but he, has something. he can take on b3 then. Maybe he can still fight on no, with, the, with the two pawns, three pawns. So we take on c5 with the, knight, with the bishop. Take on c5, queen b3. 
Yeah, it's okay, maybe I don't want to lose B3. Mm. Oh, wait, maybe I see something. I'm not sure. Like, if I give a check here. Yeah. And uh, then if he can't go to B4. Uh, can't go to A4, B4. And so he has to go... A6 to or A6. B5? No, B5, you have Queen B7, no? That's the point. Yeah. And bishop d8. And I'm getting mated. Yeah. So I so have to go to a6. a6. I think now bishop c5. We're going... That that also... Uh, that Does that work? We'll look at it in a moment. Okay. Uh, but here uh, we have the answer here. b4 and bishop d8. Because black's already in a in a mating net, the only square that he has is b4. So you first take it away from him. Uh. And if queen b4, there's a check here. Yeah. And if king takes, you already you had already yeah. seen this. Queen c5 wins the queen. Yeah. I don't know if queen c7 works. But let's just see it for for the sake of it. King a6. And what was it that you were suggesting here? Bishop c5? Yeah. You were looking at bishop c5. Bishop c5. Queen takes b3. And you want to take on f4 probably, no? Uh, yeah. Do you have the... Uh, is it refreshed on yours? Okay, screen? I'm going to refresh that. Can you see the, the position now? Yeah, I can see the position now. Yeah. We can take the knight. Okay, should should be winning, but still the pawn on d3, but okay, queen d6. Black that is, is also... Go win the queen. Should be winning, but b4 is just uh, immediate. No, it's game over. No chance mm -hmm. whatsoever. b4 and bishop d8. Nice spot. He, Black actually resigned... At, in this moment, after king h2, queen a3 didn't happen, but b4 was the answer to it. Okay, and I'm going to show you my favorite game because we are... I had another one here, but we are running out of time. And this is the one that I like a lot. Shamkovich with the white pieces and with black... hope I'm pronouncing this correctly... Sakharov. Yuri. And uh, here he plays queen c3. Yeah. Looks, looks interesting because black has played g6 and there is no dark square bishop here. So it makes sense to, to look at the dark squares on the king side. Mm. However, there is a problem with... Uh, there is a problem with queen c3. And the problem is what happens if he takes on d4, knight d4. And here's c5, because now I'm going to be losing e2 and d4 is going to come and my bishop seems to be just buried on b2. What did I do here? Is queen c3 a mistake? So what do we do here with white? I'm going to to let you think for, for a few minutes, come up with ideas. All, the, all these games belong to Shamkovich. What is queen c5 to simply to winning endgame? I'm not sure I understand the question, but if it's about the endgame that we were seeing with a piece up, it should be winning. But in a game, there's more chances of making a mistake in that position, even if you're winning. Oh, then it's best to, to go for the mate with b4. I kind of would have taken d7. Um... Because if we're going to checkmate on the dark squares, then it would be nice to get rid of these knights. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm thinking about taking in d7 and then um, if he takes on d4, I take with the queen. And then, uh, then what? Then I'm one upon. 
maybe I have one opponent if he if he uh, takes uh, my bishop he can't take with the knight because that would be checkmate and yeah. if he takes with the queen then I, I I take an f6 and I don't think he can stop defend them. this that's um, a that's a good point yes so if I go for this he m maybe have to take back here first yeah Take back on d7. And then maybe I move the knight. But if I move the knight, he can play d4 and shut, shut my queen down. Um, maybe I have to move the knight before I take on d7. Yeah, but if you move the knight, then um, yeah, let's see that. If you move then the you knight, something... then you play d4, right? Yeah, if uh, if knight f3, I can also take on e2 first because I have d4 in between. I mean, when you play bishop d7, I probably have d4 then. Yeah, maybe it gets complicated, but yeah, it's really, but it's, it's an really... idea. The, the D4 move that uh, annoys me the most. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What if I just go like this? <laughs> but I mean, even but, there, you could probably play D4 still. Yes, I have the in between D4. When you take on D7, D4 is happening. So do we have any other suggestions? Yeah, bishop d7. Bishop d7, that was, uh, that's what I think I was, uh, bishop d7. Followed by knight c6. So here, bishop d7, queen d7, knight c6, but still d4, no? This d4 might be annoying. So let me show you what he had in mind, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure that he, he solved this. It's impossible. If you play queen c3, bishop d4 and c5, it's all forced moves. I'm pretty sure that is the first thing that he looked at. e4, very close. e4, not e4, e3. <laughs> e3, okay. So the knight's not going anywhere. <laughs> no. And the idea is that here, Black shouldn't take on d4, actually. He should just play this position as if nothing happened, knight e5, and, and keep playing. But he took on d4. Who can resist Oof. temptation to take this beautiful knight on d4? <laughs> the problem, okay. though, is that... Sorry. No, uh, no, I was just saying, yeah, I would take back with the queen. And now exactly everything that you were looking at is working, no? Yeah. And how does Black defend? That's a big question also. How do you defend against all the threats? The knight on f6 is hanging if queen takes and the mates are hanging if knight takes. No easy way to to defend everything. I think the next move that he played is quite natural. He played rook e6. I was just yeah thinking that maybe that was the only. Yeah, I think it's... Yes. It looks normal. No, you want to stop this bishop from taking on d7, and you want to defend your knight on f6. If white takes, pawn takes, and then that's two pieces for a rook. Yeah. Black has uh, come out of this nicely. But what do we do here after rook e6? Yeah, it's might be too slow <laughs> but i'm thinking about pushing this pawn up to g5 yeah but you're blocking ah because you want but you're not going to mate me knight h5 right whenever you get there when you get to g5 then I oh will go queen h8, h8. <laughs> the queen can still, go further it still like it's too slow then maybe you can play knight e5 maybe uh, queen here and here and, and then knight h5 is that do you have time for that 
but 95 on g4 maybe yeah g4 knight h5 oh 95 i'm threatening knight f3 so you don't even have time for g5 no. on g4 knight here and this is a threat Hmm. F4. Yeah. You just go F4 here. We want to go F1, F5? Yes, we do right. want to go F5. Okay. And open the position. So here he plays rook c8. That's okay. He takes on c8. And now F5. And I think black has to take here, otherwise uh, if the rook moves away, like rook d6 maybe to keep the, the knight defended, then when the bishop opens up, you're going to be... My arrows are not right today. <laughs> the knight is going to be pinned. Yeah. So here we can take on g6 and take on d7 and take on f6, no? I actually can't see your arrows. Oh, I'm not sure if they. <laughs> can you see the position now? Um, After pawn to yeah, no, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here I was thinking that I might have rook f6 directly because the knight is pinned, but just bishop d7 is enough. Because no? the other knight is also pinned. Yes. To take I still the... have. I still have the other mate. Yeah. All about the dark squares here. Yeah, this is why I like this game so much because everything yeah. happens on the dark squares. Bishop f5, queen e8, and the idea is now to bring the queen again. Queen h4 and and check on g5. Here he tried rook e5 to neutralize the bishop, but still. And bishop d7 anyway. Because. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're taking f6 first, and then yeah. we got. We have a bishop. Yeah. A bishop up. From a bishop down, actually, a yeah. <laughs> knight down. So here he took on d7 and rook f5. f6. What do we do here? Um, I guess we can, I have to calculate this a little bit before I sacrifice too much. <laughs> what do you um, want to do, Sophie? What do you want I, to do I, here? Take it. Uh, Just take with, it. And then when he takes the queen, then go uh, rook f8, because that would be... Uh, That's absolutely check. right. Yeah. I was just thinking maybe he could take the, uh, maybe instead of taking the queen, he could take the rook. But then yes. we take on e5 with the bishop and it's all good, right? Yeah, you can take on e5 oh, or you can six. take on f6. Yeah. This is what I I had here. Bishop e5. And game over because of queen h8. You can try yeah. to trade, but you're just taking too many pawns here. Pawns. He's actually not losing the bishop yet because of king e6, but so many things to lose here. No, b6 also. Yeah. Ah, you also have queen c7 and take the pawn with check. Then it's four pawns. That's, <laughs> That's uh, it's like a piece. <laughs> yeah. So here he tried d4. Bishop takes, of course. And now queen c8, hoping for ideas with queen c1. That's why he, he played mm. d4 first. But there's really nothing happening there because you can always cover. And here he resigned. No, actually he played queen c1 and he resigned. <laughs> <laughs> because of rook f1. Because of rook f1 counter check and it's over. Yeah, you know it's bad when you resign before the opponent even makes a move. Actually, in his games, I saw many games that ended with his opponent's move. It's something that I hadn't seen in other players' games. <laughs> He's so many games that ended in his... Oh, like his like opponent... Here. Like his opponent played and they didn't wait for his move. Yeah. It was uh, it was funny. Okay, and let me show you the last one since we do 
we are just a little bit over one hour there is another beautiful game that was this one just to show you here we're going to see it from black's perspective because i wanted to show you how he plays always for the initiative i told you that this is one of the things i noticed in his games he was very tactical but also always seeks for the initiative so here how would you play this with black I would um, very much consider just going for the bishop pair, taking on c4 and playing bishop b5. Okay, great, Sophie. Take on c4. And bishop b5 is one idea, but here you have, you can improve on that. e3? Yeah, e3. That's how he played. And you know how the computer is always very helpful in these situations? <laughs> The engine is again very helpful and gives zero zero here, but well. I think uh, that evaluation is only right for the engine because if you play this with white, I'm I at least would be very worried for my king safety here. <laughs> and if yeah, you... I think I would even maybe just no, that might even yeah, maybe castle. The nine. I don't really don't know what to do with that uh, king. Maybe castle and go. Maybe but castle, then... yeah. Castle, you we bishop. still have bishop b5, and then yeah. you at least exchange back. So, yeah, yeah, bishop b5. Maybe castle and just give up, give back the exchange. I, I agree, yeah. Maybe that can happen. Uh, but just let me show you one, one line here. Pawn takes e3. So you see that the defense is very difficult for white. He needs to find only moves. Queen b3, mm. and queen g4 is very strong here. Yeah. Two threads. Yes, the bishop on b5 is hanging, but we take here. King e2, rook f2. Here, queen g2. This looks very dangerous for white, I think. <laughs> is the engine still saying zero? <laughs> yeah, I was following an engine line here. Yeah. And here it ends with the evaluation of zero, zero, but I would say it's uh, complicated. <laughs> Definitely not a draw. I would no. play short castle, Clive says. Yeah, I think so. I think short castle is like the safe decision after e3. It's to get, get your king out of the center. Yeah. Castle here is what Yusuf, you are suggesting as well. And bishop b5 gives back the exchange. If nothing else. like <laughs> If nothing else. No, I think bishop b5. We can take back the material. I think bishop b5, take on f1 and keep playing. Yeah. Uh, but let me show you the game. He played queen e2 here. Still, uh, this is fine. Pawn takes f2. And here, white is already walking a thin line because the only move to defend is queen f2, which is not natural at all. No. You get your queen willingly on the f file. Here, queen d3. Now, what does he do with the queen? G3 will be hanging, no, whenever, wherever he plays. But we still have one defense here, rook d1. And we get into this end game where white has a draw by repetition here. There really is a draw available if white wants it. <laughs> rook d2 and, and rook d1. Yeah. But of course, this can also be, be played on it's still uh, complicated, no? Yeah, very much. But bishop f2 was played, much more mm -hmm. natural. Bishop b5. Yeah, we just take on c4, right? If you Sorry? Play c4. And if you place, uh, yeah, oh. if you place c4, we just capture? Yeah, I would say that we capture and take on f2. Yeah. This looks good enough. Takes here, if queen takes, queen f2, yeah. Mm. And then take on d4 and everything opens up. Hopefully I'm not getting mated first, but <laughs> but this looks this looks strong. So after bishop b5 he played queen to d2, trying to cover c2, because if queen e3 then queen c2 is is coming. More problems here on b2. Mm. 
So he plays queen d2. Check on e4. Cover with the bishop. And what do we do here? Hmm. This is also scary from black side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not uh, it's not clear from white black side either, but um you are the one attacking. I think that's that's always easier. Than just defend all the time. But I really can't seem to find the move for uh for black here i would like to get either like this bishop or this rook in the game oh yes you can give solutions oh. there's a <laughs> there is a question in the twitch and then you can't take because of rook f1 yes the twitch chat had it already for a while see. now <laughs> you better first like so uh, yeah, queen h4, it is beautiful, David. And that's why I wanted to show this game, because queen h4 is just too beautiful not to show. Rook f1 is happening in case of rook takes. Uh, Can you see yeah. it, Sophie? Yeah, I see it. It's very beautiful. And this is nice. Here, white resign. Yeah, because you just take the rook. If you just take on h1, yeah, <laughs> whatever he plays. And he doesn't even have that many moves, right? Okay, you can move the king, but that's just yeah. Yeah, king d one or I don't know, queen f. Oh, that must be so nice. So satisfying to play queen h four in this yeah. position. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think bishop d two in the previous game is also quite pleasant to play over the board. Yeah, but I, think... I mean, a queen side is just. <laughs> Impressive, yeah. I yeah. agree. I think the queen e3 move was okay for white. Um, you mean here, queen e3? Yeah, okay, we don't have queen h4 anymore, but uh, we can take on g2 in this position. Can you see the position, Sophie? Yeah. I really like black in this position. <laughs> I do like black here as well, yes. h1's hanging. Okay, e6 is hanging on my side, but I think... I play king h7 and there are no more checks. And if rook g1, I want to come back. And here we play for the attack and for the initiative and we're not really focusing on winning right away. Long castle is not possible because a2 is hanging. Mm. There's always something hanging. And that's, yeah, with this we are going to finish. There are so many... I think that's a good way to uh, to finish this lesson. <laughs> yeah, we saw some nice ideas. I think uh, all of them, from the knight jumps to to f5 and d4 to to leaving the knight on d4 in the previous game, <laughs> and here rook takes c4 and queen h4. Uh, they are all very very nice, and he has many many good games. I I recommend you you study his games. Even though he wasn't a world champion or as famous as other players we have studied, he was very strong as well. Many beautiful games. Oh, before that, when I mentioned queen e3 and queen c2, yes, of course, this is better than what happened in the game, but even here, there's a lot of pressure because b2 is, is falling next. There's no way to, to defend that pawn. But yes, it is better than what happened in the game. I agree with that. <laughs> Anything was better. <laughs> <laughs> than playing bishop e3, no? <laughs> and getting mated, yeah. yeah. It's, it's true. And now what is next time? Is that on Monday? No, we are going to, to see you guys next Tuesday. But we had to change the time. Oh, uh, yeah, but like it... it's, it's going to be earlier at 12.30 CET. Yeah, uh, because there is another tour coming, so we won't have our usual spot available. But I'll see you guys next week. At and who's going to yes, we are going to look at Karpov. I have already found some uh, attacking games of his. 
that I think you're going to enjoy. Please do lessons on Queen's Gambit declined. Sophie, <laughs> you are the one who decides here. <laughs> uh, if Sophie wants to play that. Queen's uh, Gambit declined, though I don't see her playing D4 in the future. I don't think I'm going to play it, but I mean, we, we could do one. I mean, I'm sure I could learn something about like the structure, but it's probably not an opening I'm going to be not, playing. Yeah, I don't see you playing that. You're more of a Gambit yeah. <laughs> type of... Yeah, you do very well with your Gambits with white, I think. Yeah. But we will consider that in the future. After we finish this series, so I'll have to think of, of something else. I'll definitely think about it. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys very much. If you have any questions, go ahead. Don't forget to... to coaches. And... Exactly, <laughs> I was going to say that. Don't forget I'm to go to coaches. So you can get in chest shape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have many coaches to, to choose from. I myself, I am one of them. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Yep. No more questions. Thanks for the stream. Thank you guys for watching us. Thank you for, for joining and hope to see you next week at 1230.